In this video, we will tell you a very brief review of our research progress in the last two weeks. First, after further consultation with our professor of electronics and fisheries, and also after we collaborated with field experts, we are able to finalize the design of the new concept of MINO. They have several additional support systems such as Bioflock, control system for the dissolved oxygen, and solar cell. In this design, we will add Bioflock in the inlet section of MINO. Bioflock is a protein-rich aggregate of organic materials and microorganisms such as bacteria, protozoa, and algae that have a lot of benefits. Bioflock is protein-rich and highly digestible for tilapia. It is environmentally friendly, which has low water consumption, able to increase biosecurity, and little or no release of inorganic pollutants. It is also very easy to obtain and inexpensive by products. Then we will add the dissolved oxygen sensor to regulate oxygen levels. The dissolved oxygen sensor will calculate the amount of oxygen in the pond. If the dissolved oxygen levels in the pond detected as low, the sensor will give information to the microcontroller. In the microcontroller, the data from the dissolved oxygen sensor will be processed with arithmetic and logic methods, the operating logic, sequential, timers, and counters. Results of the data processed by microprocessor will be issued in digital signals to run the actuator, or if it's in the system, it's our pump. And it will work vice versa when the dissolved oxygen level is high, then the system will make the pump off automatically. The system is designed to make the pump work more effective and efficient. Furthermore, the system will save the consumption of electricity used. Then we design the solar cell system as the electrical source for MINO. The solar cell will gather the solar energy and convert it to DC current. The current will be saved in accumulator. DC current will be converted to AC current 220 volt with the inverter to turn on the pump. Secondly, we did a lab test with our new design of the main section of microbubble generator that we've talked about in the last video. Based on the product design theory, we designed a new model that is more simple, easy, and efficient for fabrication. This new model will be more easy to fabricate compared to the previous model. In this new model, we try to minimize the design by minimizing the number of joints and walls. Thus, it will be easier to fabricate, less time consuming, and cheaper to fabricate. To check the effectivity of this new model, we did the lab test to see if this new model will generate the same or even smaller size of microbubble. Besides of doing visual observation to determine the bubble size, we also tried to validate it by using high-speed camera to capture the image of the bubble. The result will be processed with the MATLAB program, so we will get the information of the actual size of the bubble produced. Visually speaking, this design was able to generate a really good size of microbubble. This research has been supported by Laboratorium of Fluid Mechanics, Mechanical and Industrial Engineering Department, and Center of Energy Studies, Universitas Gajah Mada. For this weekend, we will conduct deep interview with the fish farmers of Bokeh Sanjok Jakarta to see whether our technology and our pricing range are suitable with their needs, and also we will help socialization about aquaculture and technology to the fish farmers group. Other than the progress we have mentioned before, we also have started to discuss closely with our mentor and will prepare the best way to pitch our idea.